Hey Nick. Hey. Can you show us how to make an espresso? Well, I'm about to make one sure I show. Let's let's go on a ride. Great. Dry everything off after I do that. Okay. Well the first thing you want to do when you make an espresso, you want to make sure everything's hot. So the machine's been on, it's been warming up. But next I'm going to run hot water through the porta filter into the cup. But next thing I'm going to do, if you come in here, I'm going to pour some coffee in the, in the grinder. Fresh coffee. Got to have fresh coffee, otherwise espresso is no good, right? Um, fresh coffee meaning within about two weeks of the roasting date. Um, right. Well, we have a couple of brands in, that are locally roasted in Durham. Um, one is more uh, well known than the other. Counterculture is typically one of the best roasteries in, in the country. Um, and Joe Van Gogh is another local roaster. So whole bean coffee. Just like if a banana starts to turn brown, it's oxidizing. Mm -hmm. You start to grind coffee, and all those little powdered grinds of coffee are going to oxidize even more quickly than bananas do. The bananas don't taste as good if they're super brown, right? Right. So coffee, you need to use it right away, right after you grind it. You have to grind it fresh. So this is how much about how much I put in, so that people don't waste coffee. Put about this much. This might even be a little too much in the grinder for one espresso. It might be a little too much. Typically, you wait. All right, and then you have to dial in the grind of the espresso too. Um, what I do is I take this little cup to catch the espresso to catch the coffee. I mean, and hold it under and put the grinder. All right, so I go right into the. To the port of okay. Just like that. Stir it up. Okay. Really, so you can take a look and you see that there are some clumps, right? There's a clump here, some clumps. What I'm going to do is just stir it up, get everything evenly distributed and declumped. Mm -hmm. It's only it only takes like 10 seconds to do this, and the results are a lot better than if you don't. All right. So declumped for the most part. If I have a little too much, I think right here I have a little too much coffee in okay. the basket, so I'm going to hold it over this garbage can and just level it out because I think I have a little too much. Yeah. Okay, so put so a little grinder bit. next time. All right, next thing is to tamp, right? I have it level, level surface. Next thing I want to do is take this tamper. So you put this thing, if you put it like this, put the portafilter like this, it's a, it's a bit off off balance, so there's a little lip right here. Put it there and it's flat on the counter. So depending on the grind, the grind will dictate how hard you really want to tamp this, but you want to be able to tamp this so that you have some room between the coffee surface and the the shower screen on the espresso machine, on the group head of the Very espresso level. machine. And you see that there's a bunch of coffee on the, on the rim here. Mm -hmm. I brush it off because you put this stuff in the machine, the machine gets really dirty and full of coffee grinds. So take this little paint brush that I have, just brush it off over the, in the machine. So we have a PID on this machine. Um, and what that, what that does is it controls the temperature of the boiler. This is the temperature of the boiler, not of the water that comes out. Um, controls that temperature to plus or minus one degree Fahrenheit. Temperature is really important for making espresso. So, okay, so it's at 212 for the boiler, and it'll probably come out at around 195. This button. And you take a look at how this is going to extract. It's maybe a little slow because there's a lot of coffee in there. But you take a look under here, and you see that this is this is a little bit. This is going to be over extracted because it had too much coffee in there, but. I'm gonna let it go. I can, um, I can argue that that was a pre-infusion. Mm -hmm. But what I really want is I want to see dark, and I want to coalescing so stream like this right in the middle. And you see that it's, it's really striated like a tiger stripe. That's the word that mm -hmm. people use. And I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna put about a. I want to get about an ounce in this cup for a ristretto. Okay. Um, you can you can fill it up 
all the way if you want. It just depends on what you what you like. But uh, I'm gonna stop it right around here. This crema, right? And this is this is this natural foam. If you have a very um, a very fresh coffee bean, it's degassing carbon dioxide. And there's a lot of that gas that's bubbled up. And so this should taste pretty sweet. Um, because it's a little slightly over extracted, it won't be acidic, it might be a little bitter. But we're About aiming 25 to 30 seconds. You want that coffee to be pouring out and to get about an ounce in the cup or two ounces. Two ounces is normal double espresso um, for about 30 seconds. And you want that, you want it to look like that, that stream. You don't want it to be spraying out really fast. You don't want it to be spraying out everywhere. Um, but that's kind of the goal. So what I do next. Is the important part is to be able to make espresso in the future because you always want to make espresso again. So you have to be able to clean the machine. So you can make it in the future. So yeah, so we. This is what no. the, this is what a puck should look like. It should be very dry, not wet. And you knock it in this knock box. And look, take a look. It's very solid, right? You know you've extracted a lot of the coffee from that. Take a look. Okay. Under here, there's going to be a little bit of coffee on this sh on this screen here. And so I run it, and I'll brush it off with this. And that's all you really need to do, brush it off, like that. And then I will put my portafilter back in after I wiped it off, or rinsed it in the sink, and then run hot water through here uh -huh. to clean that out. And then dump this tray of water in the sink and make sure that there's enough water. This is the water line here. Make sure there's enough water for the next person and just leave it on. Turn it off. Coffee is very good. This is very good. It's very good. part of making espresso. So I'm sure it tastes very, very good. <laughs>